Are you ready for the vampire? Okay, is it just me or is the game very dark? What? I'm just making sure the game doesn't look very dark on the screen that I have. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like... Like, at first my mind was like, hey... Uh, no, it, it, it's just dark outside. We we operate during the dark. No, you got... Look, I, my eyes are struggling. Yeah, we both sound muffled, but... Well, that's gonna happen. But that's what... The problem is with you, and the problem is with me, and we can't help it. Oh, the bros lost chat. Yeah, we keep having this problem, but it's... But it's... Yeah, we're, we're streaming. Normally when this happens, chat is quick, and chat doesn't show up. That's concerning. No, we're, we're on. We are streaming right now. No, there's something very wrong. Chat, you're not Maybe chat just didn't connect this time. Well, that's a big problem because it kind of has to. That's what I'm saying. Normally, Twitch doesn't actually isn't actually really connected to the network because that's when it sends to Twitch, Twitch automatically sends back. But it's streaming. Look, I agree with you. That makes sense, but tell that to OBS, which is saying, yeah, it's streaming, but I'm not getting any chat coming up. It's really not actually really streaming. So that's, I'm just I'm telling you what OBS is saying. I don't know. You want to stop and start over? We can, but like, I can just look on my phone, I guess. Okay, it looks like if you stand for too long, it will automatically pause the damn game. Uh, yeah, that'll happen. Hold on, guys, older bro is wondering. Just go. Okay. Hello, people. It's us, Two Bros Game Nine. I'm your host, Young Bro. I am maybe your host, older bro. And we're back with Vampire. Uh, yeah, older bro has been sick for the past couple days. Yeah. And he's still kind of out of it. Yeah. And me, I have to wear a mask. Well, yeah. I'm wearing a mask. Uh. So we're gonna sound even more muffled. Yeah. So, uh, and I also have a little bit of a headache, but it, it's slowly going away. But well, just give it a day. But anyways, um, we're back in VMP here. Uh, we're we're continuing where we left off. Combat much much easier. Yeah, younger bro has replayed the game back up to the oh, shit. I didn't mean to fall all the way down here. How's Die. the yeah, uh, I found myself to use a, whoop. I use a, yep, um, I do have the thing that heals you when go. you bite. There you go. Younger bro has learned the game a bit, guys. It's a killer. Why do they have damn machine gun? Well, I mean, this was the old times. Like, this is World War One, so the Gatling gun did just exist. Yeah, but it, normally it's a big, giant-ass gun. It's not mach yeah. machine levels. That is true. Well, it could be the, uh... It's a, hand it's a handheld pistol. Well, it could be a Tommy gun. No, it was a handheld pistol. That's what you're shooting me with. It's not a Tommy gun. Well, I don't fucking know. That's weird. Zero would be able to tell us. But anyways, um... Except he knows all the guns. The, the, uh... I have a steak knife. Uh... A steak knife? Please tell me it's a wooden steak. It is. Oh, God, that's great. Um... Anyway, I have this because I found myself to actually enjoying this. I mean, look at how much stamina it fucking takes from the enemy. It doesn't. No. Like, they have a stamina bar, uh, like, they have, like, an armor stamina bar, and look how much it's taking off. Yep. Like, he's already out of stamina. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, there's the wall. I mean, the wall is still a wall. Like, that hasn't changed. The wall is still a wall. I, I don't know why. It, I still have the same damn problem. Yeah. 
Yeah, and you can't stamina break this guy. Oh, I get never. Now you can. You know what? Fuck. Although not right now, please, because I'm. Fine. Come back in like uh, a week or two. I'll be fine then. In a week or two, I could have brought you diamonds. Well, we do want to get through Minecraft as soon as possible. I'm just spamming a stamina break at him because, yep. yeah. Younger brothers figured out how to Dragon Ball this shit. I'd, I'd spit on it, but I don't want to spread germs right now. Oh, now I can suddenly yep. open Because the you just game. had to beat him. Alright guys, um, also I did complete another side mission, uh, I don't think I completed it on camera, it, uh, apparently at some point that one woman who thinks she's a vampire, she thought she was being spied on and uh -huh. you had to go look for the people spying on her, Yeah, I did that. Cool. It, 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 it didn't. All, all, when you went back to her and said that, uh, all she says is, thank you, mortal. That makes sense. Like, she's just thankful. Uh-oh. Can't have that. Might need to go around. To the left. Oh, now I can. Talk to him. I'd love to. Are you all right? The bastard at the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. I'm a doctor. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. The man you are looking for is dead. Oh no. Is that. Wait, who? Uh, we'll do that later. Yeah. Did you steal that man's medication? What happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey, I didn't do anything. It ain't me. Maybe he confessed you were someone else. What? You did Either he, you can. Uh, you picked an easy target, didn't you? Yeah. By the way, what does mesmerize do in this situation? Like, there's an L button up there. What the hell does that do? I can just control them. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Someday you'll understand what it is wasting your <laughs> life away. Okay, now talk to him. If we can. Did we break him? Oh, we can. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, alright? Now piss off. <laughs> what the hell happened to your face, man? Yeah, seriously. What happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey, I didn't do anything. It ain't me. Maybe he confused you. What? You picked an easy. So uh, you can be confrontational and just say you did do it. You can say you can give right. it. Yeah, you can say maybe he Perhaps did. Perhaps the poor drunk just confused you with someone else. Shut off, Mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Bastard was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar with this part of town. Perhaps you could help me. I said sod off. Go find yourself another guy. He says as I continue talking to him. Yep. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? If you know anything about her, I'd appreciate it. Never heard of her. She's pretty, I'll keep an eye out. <laughs> Fair enough. Hence uh, required. I found the recruiter you were expecting. He's dead, but he carried a note. The wet boot boys have accepted your application. I knew it! I told you I was tough enough. I'll be free soon. You know the risk. This is no freedom. You are so gullible. This note was found on a dead man, Albert. If that doesn't change your mind, then you must be ready to face the risks. Clearly. Oh, fancy words. None of which concern me. Go worry about someone else. I'm fine and I have a future here. Fair enough. Oh, in this Goodbye, case, young man. There I'll you kill go. you now. I'll not die in some piss stinking alley breaking worse than a week old. Peace. I'll die in a fucking trench. In Detroit. In Detroit. 
trench warfare in Detroit. Oh, uh oh, he's oh, dead. Maybe become a robot. A robot. Are we even going the right way? But yeah, uh, how right hard way. was it just to get past that one fucking guy? Uh, well, it was called he a challenge. irritates me. What? What do you want? Yeah, Leave that. me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical report says the opposite. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. Yeah, I'd investigate. There he goes. I will return later. No, he went out the back door. I swear, if you try to open this door and it says it's locked. I forget how to sneak. Uh, there we go. There you go. Right, a cutscene has to trigger first. Uh -oh. A strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. Dorothy, what are you intensely. doing? Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just the friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nivercott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Of course he is. Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. You're delusional, man. I cannot enter. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Rucker? By the church, they no. I don't think he's born yet. Uh, they are not. Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Come on, take a look. Don't be afraid. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Good quality. Come on, take a look. Don't be afraid. Oh, good. Slavery. Hey, mama, rock me. Ah, these loading screens are giving me a bigger headache. They take 37 years. Excuse me, sir. I'm an old man by then. Another journalist. I didn't answer the first. Boy, I'm Russian. I'm hardcore, I'm man. Journalist. I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. You don't have really? a sonic Why screwdriver. I'm but still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson, the son. Dude, you look but dead. Colossus Joe. Colossus Joe. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. Colossus Joe. May I ask what you do around here? I do whatever I want, and sometimes even more. Now, sod off. Okay. Would you fucking According stop you, knocking down my door? Are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this. So you know I'm watching Adventure Time, right? I'll get yeah. your face. I got through fire and ice. Stabbed in the back. This part of town and, uh, does have quite a reputation. I'm still pissed off. Would you say it's justified? Totally. A little less pissed look off now that I watched through it and saw how in the eye I guess out. Cinnamon Bun likes oh, good. Flame Princess. We've just been threatened. Anyway, uh, I saw how like Cinnamon Bun confessed heard of a nurse Flame Princess. Uh -huh. She's a colleague of mine. And I guess just because he confessed doesn't mean they're together, but Fen yeah, took it that way. One of the few good souls but I'm not sure. I'm not 100% certain. About her? She's a nice girl. I don't like it. Welcome, I, agree. I offered to give her hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Oh man, you don't have to threaten me, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a poor old man. Now you gotta find Clayton in the area. Flora Clayton. 
Uh, Oswin Oswald. What? Oh, Clayton's in there. Oh, okay. I, th I, I thought it was leading me to one person. You look weird. Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias Whitaker is always Boris happy to teach Tobias about Whitaker. the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. You're weird. I don't what like you weird. When you say that I am more lost than you thought. <laughs> All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. And most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. Not too right. judgmental if you've seen a lot of Blinded scientists. By science as I have. But you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. Would you like to see my pamphlet? <laughs> I am. But the answers I seek are based on facts. How many boys have you taken to the back room? What do you mean? <laughs> Oh, let's not say that. They're probably capital creep. All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. And most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I... You're old-fashioned. Get out of my place. Science as I am. But you are seeking answers, aren't you? Blinded uh, by science as I am. Armageddon about to strike the city. Oh, uh, I think I already... about the hidden truth. I wish you could skip the shit that you... I am listening. Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening to your so-called truth. As a doctor, you must be aware of a decimating epidemic. But let me tell you. Let me guess. So it's the uh, it's a plague caused by God. The beginning of the end. What do you mean? The beast is finally revealing itself. Oh boy, Come you don't know how wrong you are seeing as how we're sitting here with years later eyes, or something I've else. Yeah, this. we're in a different and plague that's about to end the world this. or something. What is your plan? Really? And what would be your answer to this biblical quest? We must fight the disease before this legion outnumbers us. That sounds an awful lot like you're fighting God. <laughs> yeah. Because if, if you believe that the biblical, you know, plagues are legitimate, and you believe that that's Tell a sign of the end times, doesn't that exactly mean that it's, you know, there's nothing left to do but surrender to God's God judgment? Um, from the ashes, hardened and pure. Oh, oh, not Swaz. today, Swaz. But, um, oh, science is our only hope. One where... bro playing, the other bro barely talking because of Where do pain. you put the limit? This is the 20th century, is it? Uh, yes. The Spanish flu Fire was in just the 1900s. the instinctive answer of a caveman facing something he does not understand. This is but, but yeah, speaking of things <laughs> like Legion, um, we're gonna have a new Terminator game, and it's gonna be set in that future. Yeah. Yeah. Minds like yours to see the light. yeah, I was, I was just saying this joke earlier, Swaz, where I was like, uh, yeah, uh, you're nothing I, I made I made a sex butcher. joke and I was like, but please a don't do it to me right now. Uh, wait like two weeks because I'm not in the white uh, healthy Most state to accept if that. Think yeah, why you haven't think kid. we've been streaming? Go listen to the lies of that we should have been streaming Pokemon yesterday. Joseph. Yeah, Joseph. and we're already <laughs> on a tight schedule with that. We're probably not gonna be streaming Pokemon for the rest of the week unless I get feeling a lot better. Yeah, it's probably more just gonna be all vampire. Which so, is fine by me. I want to get to the next yeah. game. Unfortunately, guys. Like, like guys, you know, I really, really want to play this fucking next game because like I'm so pissed off at this game, like even though we restarted it and it's a lot easier. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses. What? <laughs> <laughs> See, she's liberal, but she's liberal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not even a joke. That's, oh, that's, that's literally what they That thought. is so sad. She was a oh, never mind. She's liberal because she's a communist woman. <laughs> the damn communist. Even better. <laughs> oh, we've so learned about Dorothy Crane. I swear, if you go up to her and say but you're a filthy communist, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you communist. <laughs> 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 
Wow, you've been a so naughty, naughty cunt. <laughs> Sit in the corner with your dunce cap. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's great. Have you any friends? Any family left? Do you have any actual friends? <laughs> no. But I have a disciple I see as my son. He is so devoted. I sent him to preach the good word in the heart of his And then I humped him good. And then he died. <laughs> Where did you send him? To the Where good boy school. I sent Samuel to the Stonebridge Cemetery. Where the pestilence and evil grows night after night. That seems like a terrible... Uh, <laughs> new like a investigation! <laughs> some preaching crusade during the epidemic. As a true believer. Samuel will fear no I'm evil. a believer, I, I could believe her if I tried. Then I saw her face. I have had enough for tonight. Goodbye. You piss me off. Yeah. I should call you communist. You look like a communist. Yeah, that is a buzz term. Where is the Clayton? Now, that's an actually that's an interesting. Is uh do we call them buzzwords because they were on BuzzFeed? I don't know. Somebody it, answer that question. Is this Clayton? Is this the Baron Clayton? Baroness Clayton. No, it's Clayton Darby. That could... Is Mr. This... Darby, are you... <laughs> are you, uh... Welcome, what's sir. the fucking word for that? Take a browse of my way. Are you coming I'm on I'm Dr. To me? Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Doctor. Yes, sir. I got the Christmas before you need right here. Usually God damn it. I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night, well, time to go through use. 37 more dialogue chains. Who's ready? What is a traitor? How is business around here? Business? I have no business. Between this racket, theft, and customers getting scared, I'm losing money every day. I see. <laughs> Sounds like you blame someone in particular for your situation. Blame it on Texas. Don't blame it merchants. on me. But with me. He's trying to put me out of business once and for all. Oh, God. Joe, There's so uh -oh. many side quests. You see Whitechapel every day. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary recently? Well, you mean besides the epidemic? And the you? And all the usual no. crap? Yes. As long as I can remember, this part of town has been a bottomless pit. And no sign of the bottom yet. Oh, man. Violence is increasing. Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights ago, some bloke jumped me. Came out of one of the condemned workshops. <coughs> Fever, madness, something like that. Oh, Where good! I accidentally happened? jumped this man. Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. Too bad I was mugged though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. Oh. Have Don't worry, we'll get it back no, for you. But that's only because I ran like and hell. drink the blood those of those who wronged you. Lunatics, I tell you, not even able to speak anymore, just screaming. You clearly were stealing their stuff. Sad scene. Have you heard of a nurse called Dorothy Crane? Nurse Crane. So the bitch really is a nurse then. Ooh, scandalous. I thought she was just some crafty foreigner. That one. See the next one. Yeah, sure. Sure. Be. The the <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is why you left the EU, you piece of shit. Uh, this is why we shouldn't play these games right now. <laughs> she's just trying to help. Sure. So she's trying to help her fellow immigrants. Why would that make her a villain? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea Craniu. Something like that. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse crane gives away medical supplies. Uh, I kind of for free. I wet my whistle I on it. No one fair cut, but no, Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. Oh, good. Personal questions. There Out are of those. Nice for now, Mr. Lewis. <coughs> Goodbye, Huey Lewis. And the news. Ah. Uh, don't need money, don't need fame. Oh, good, another person. He's African American. Maybe this is. Clayton. This looks like the right guy. Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? Name's Clayton Darby. Report. There oh, he is. Good. There's Harry Potter. But 
Perhaps you could help me since you're a gentleman. I mean, look at those glasses. My name is Jonathan. I am the Dr. Black Reed, Harry Potter. A famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. About the underground medical. Blah, blah, blah. I think that we probably don't want to tell him that. No newspapers. But the why epidemic? are the newspapers keeping silent about the Spanish influenza? Uh, because they it's don't want the Nazis to know. There's a war going on. People shouldn't be demoralized. Not even joking. That's actually why. It's a disgrace. It's criminal. It. It's only logical. Yeah. It's we logical. Served in France, our top priority must be to put an end to this butchery. This war must stop now. Sir, streets are a battlefield too. An invisible and untold war is going on, and it must be stopped. So we agree? Question mark. Have you any idea? Both of you want to stop both wars. In these streets at night. I've had to run and hide more than once from frenzied mobs incensed by the fever. Do you think the flu is really responsible for this, Doctor? There's a rational explanation. My rationalism has been recently shaken. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a simple epidemic, no. That, that yeah. science is unable to explain the facts doesn't mean there is no rational explanation. I confess, I share your point of view, Doctor. Oh, there you go. What is a journalist doing in making friends. after sunset? He goes where none of his colleagues would dare to go, to inform the country. You risk your life to reveal so the truth. Your life to reveal Rewatch the, the truth. special to find the truth. I saw many reporters do the same during the war. Whitechapel is the crucible of so many untold stories and tragedies. I want people to know them. Uh -huh. Here's the public interest. That's quite honorable of you. But is the public interested? Not at all, sir. And that's why I'm an independent journalist, hoping to tell some stories. Yep. Oh. Nobody gives a shit. That's why I work alone. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a guy we don't want to talk to about this. Because I think that this will reveal that we know about it and get her closed down. Unless you want to close her down. I think this is one of those where you have to choose between this guy Goodbye, and the previous Mr. guy. Farewell. Uh, so let's find out. I mean, it looks like an important explanation, Mark. Ask Clayton Darby about Darius Prescrove. Okay. Oh, oh, bro's gonna go have some bathroom time. It's locked. God damn it. Uh, I guess I'll go to the other side. Can we go in the building? No. Alright, then we're gonna run around. Round, round, get around, I get around, you get around, do -do -do. I get around, I get around. Uh, motherfucker. There's something up there. We'll have to check it later. Dark alleyway. What the fuck? I think his model broke for a second. Turn around. Oh fuck! Okay. You still think I'm a leech, boy? Stay dead and think about what you did. Mother. Um. Hmm? Oh God! I didn't mean to find this thing. 
Older bro gonna go lay down, guys. It's just me and the, the dog beast thing. Why you fucking get off? How is this working? Mm, stamina, I love my stamina. Hey, look, I won. Yeah, I win. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, shit. Oh, oh boy. Large beast, that's what it's called. Um, which way did I come from? Definitely not this way. Damn it. Am I supposed to? I don't know, guys. Does it really want me to go through here? Ooh, an axe. Gimme. Get axe. Why won't let me used hatchet? Let's see. We have a two handed weapon or one. Sixty five damage. Mmm. Oh. Damn. Um. Okay, X to parody. Parody, parody. How do I switch items again? I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember how to switch items. Holy fuck! God damn! This thing fucking wrecks! Two hits dead! Yo, old bro, I got a weapon that kills so quickly. Oh, poor old bro, he ain't feeling too good. No, stop. Now stay. Wanna get on the other side? I think I'm going the wrong way. Let me go to where that large beast is. I know beastie. I'm gonna kick your buns. Where are you? There you are. Ouch. Take all the loots. Can I just destroy these? Oh, I can. They're just trying to trick me. Hmm. Can I destroy this? No. How am I supposed to get over there? 
I don't understand. Is there a secret way I'm missing? Like, um, fine. I guess I have to ask Clayton about Darius. I have no choice. Because I got no other options. Good evening, Doctor. Can I help you? Clayton, you're I heard you were investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? A nurse I know is compromised. It's confidential. I care about public health. Let's go with that one. I'm a doctor, Mr. Darby. I care about everything involving public health and this epidemic. Are you sure you're not just concerned about the repercussions that a scandal involving a certain nurse crane from the Pembroke Hospital would bring? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. Poor guy. He has no relatives. He never goes out. He has no relatives at all? No, except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. I he think older bros also had a bad day, Croc, but hello. He never goes out. No. Older bros here in spirit, he's over there, there laying there. down. I followed him. But it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? And me, my day was going good until I got a headache. Box, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. Find the mailbox and the letter. Find the mailbox. I'm looking for a mailbox. Oh, I found a flower. Camellia, hello. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I know what you're thinking. A tall stranger who meets a girl in the street at night. It reeks of the penny dreadfuls. But I mean you no harm. I know you understand what I'm saying. Your silence has nothing to do with you being me, does it? Melia, I know you yeah, work for Dorothy awesome. Crane. Please tell me about her secret dispensary. Mm, a stubborn and neat comrade. Nurse Crane and Darius Petrescu Very well. Goodbye. Then. All right. <laughs> yeah, that, that's already the hint I got. <coughs> anyway, I'm looking for a mailbox. Mail blocks. And you've not still not found Nether Cod? No. <laughs> I'm looking for the mail block of life. 
It creates life. Hello, Croc. <coughs> How goes it? Other than your fill in. <coughs> ah, I unlocked Backtrack. this gate. Maybe. I hope so. Right now, no. Oh, I found the mailbox. I have the flu. I have had the flu for three days. Had something, all right. I hope it's the flu. Uh oh. It's locked, all right. Find the mailbox and letter. Didn't I just do that? Hope you didn't get what I had. I hope not to, Croc. Obviously, I didn't get it from you, but I hope that I'm not the same thing either. Are we looking at in terms of team? Uh, about 15 minutes. What pisses me off is I don't know really a way around because I tried going around and it didn't work. Yeah. Maybe there's something in this. Maybe you go through the church? No. You can't. I've tried. No, the door's open. And this leads to nowhere. Uh huh. Can yeah. you go up the church? No, it's not that kind of game. Well, I mean. <coughs> that's probably true, but. I haven't been up here, know. so let's see what's over here. There's Mr. Clayton. There's a gate. Oh, thank you. There you go. You had a bad cough for four weeks. Oh, God. <laughs> you just come two, around with a fucking Two fucking axe. hits and it's dead. <laughs> Ow. You I wonder if the NPCs. I'm guessing there's no situation where an NPC can be near one of these. Uh, like if you kill, if you attack one of these in front of an NPC, would they uh, do something? I don't know. Are those uh, zombies? No, I believe they're they, skull or something. Yeah, they, I believe they like to be called something else, but basically, there's vampire zombies. By the way, we have switched to the easy mode, if that wasn't made clear yet. Yes, I have played up to where we needed to be. So that's why the combat seems so much easier. Do not do what I did and play on the normal mode. I mean, do if you really hate yourself. But... Yeah, who is this man? Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Oh, really? he's a poet. Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. There he is. Nivercott, at your there side. he is. I need all the information. <clears throat> may I ask what you're doing at this hour of night, sir? Do you live? Uh, that's that's pretty good. All. I'm just enjoying the pleasure of a quiet walk. That's pretty good. Although night talks are always preferable, if you ask me. Especially with strangers. But not are you not afraid. afraid of the epidemic? Oh, why should I? Oh, I'm getting good poetry out of it. equity in the Spanish flu. Uh, no <coughs> flesh should be saved, say the scriptures. No, uh, I, I, I knew what you meant, Croc. All I, I, I was assuming it was like, uh, like Fortnite, where the safe zone is, so. like, the place you but can't go. So, epidemic. yeah, that's, uh, it's real good. As in bad. Unnecessary exposures. I don't know, do kids still do that? Is that still something people do? Where they say good to mean bad? Or is that finally phased out? I don't know. To be fair, I probably can't put the emphasis in my voice right now to on the terrible show that's what I'm doing. Terrible, you say? No. Of course, the death of so many innocents is a tragedy. But the scourge has not been all bad for the city. Oh, gotcha. No. What are you talking about? Well, then, good luck fisting. Before the flu, noisy, cacophonic, 
quietly, nowhere to be found. And now, listen to this oddly peaceful silence. <laughs> Quite a unique point of view. I only see a dreadful disease. Peaceful silence. Really? Yes. The enjoyable silence of the grave. You have a unique perspective on the situation, I must admit. They're not even agreeing with him. You're just like, understand my yeah, perspective. that's a unique perspective. I, I can't even say. But how could I call myself a poet if I veiled my being? Yeah, that does suck, Croc. Are you aware you, you, you in are in danger. Well, but then, uh, I, must be I guess uh, it's time to commit the death, then. City. I had to come see it for myself, alone. I understand. You can't you kill solitude, anyone in a safe zone. But it's not safe around here. I don't care. Oh, I don't have the Kirito is all, always right. Foundation is uh despises me. undergoing some uh, some tough times. This is the closest you'll be ever help? be to well, being in a woman. Start, my dear doctor. <laughs> that wasn't even the <laughs> right episode. I know. <laughs> yeah, it was still Damn a great it. line. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. I seek inspiration. I still in love the uh, socket Rosalia. Say, but, uh, how to yeah, that's great. Stirring and challenging. <laughs> yeah, the oh, whole putting Rosalia. them, the Do whole putting of them in jail thing. The nah, contrary, they fucking Whitechapel killed them. Full of life, full of beauty, just like my dear muse, the wonderful Camellia. What can you tell me about Camellia? Not much, and that's the beauty of it. She can't speak you. Oh, that explains it. She's a locked mystery who exhales kindness and sweetness. Perhaps you're just afraid to find out the truth. Ah, uh, he her. likes that One chameleon. Day, perhaps, I'll ask her to come with me. But ah, uh, will she still be my Well, I hope she got a laugh out of it too. My chapel, if she moves out of town. <laughs> you don't call somebody Camilla and they're not a vampire. To learn more about her. Where she lives, how she survives, whom she may know. Maybe I prefer she remains an enigma. Reality can be so dull, don't you think? You have examples. In what way exactly? The struggle by gaslight, the barren smiles, and the arid hunger under the rain. If you say so. Such vibrant antagonism and vivid paradox. Okay, the ten minutes. Humanity raged across each. Five minutes just Vivid. talking to this oh, guy. Yeah. <laughs> and what about the poignant distress? Oh yes, the poignant distress. You see what I mean, don't you? That's what I want to write about. And that's what Whitechapel is made of. Now, you're talking about Dad of Boy or one of Did the older you know ones? the mute florist is a member of a secret society? No, I didn't. The only other one but is thank you the for first God of War game. There are three God of War games. Enriches the mystery. Yes, there that. are. There's more than that. Well, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That there's like three, I think, sure. numbered God of War games before that one. That yes, <coughs> but there are two games called God of War. Whatever she may be hiding. Yes, which I find stupid. But that's what I'm saying. He could be talking about God of War three and still say, "I got God of War." I fear you are a hope. That's why I asked. Dad of Boy or older series. But yeah, there's like five. So, or, there are actually five or six games before are. Dad or Boy. There are. Have we had Dad of Boy two yet? May I ask you a few questions? It's coming. History. Okay. Extraordinary part of uh, It's coming in 2022. If I can. Not, but. <coughs> I'm looking for Dorothy Crane, a nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The, the Crane, Crane of Whitechapel. Whitechapel sounds very mysterious. But sorry, no, never heard of her. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius. Uh, he wrote a song yes, called I uh, "Wagon Reel." I thought he Wrong was guy. a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent. Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. Ah, don't you love it when both sides call you a communist? I'll leave you alone, sir. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. Uh oh. It should not be that difficult to insult I must him. say, Darius. Oh. I need you to write me a song, Why Darius. Why do you still find Richard Nethercott on there? You very clearly just found him. Yeah, it don't like to... Check off the check marks. 
Well, that sucks. Hopefully, mailing the thing gets that to go away. You are blinded by your false faith. Cheap price. I just kill them. Come on, take a look. Don't be afraid. Please don't. Take better care of your teeth, Croc. It's very clearly not on my box. <coughs> Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again. Go away. Let's Mesmerize a, level two wait. required. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? Huh. All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to say. Yeah, I'm not the popo, the man. Just let me in. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you. Don't yell at here. me. Don't Croc, I don't think that I could yell world. if I tried. Five minutes. We still don't have the mailbox. I, I, I just, I, I start looting his place. Hey, look. Yep, you just can. Wow. <laughs> Let's see what this old boy has to say. If you want to talk to Dorothea, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. You're May yelling at me without yelling at me. I am Darius Petrescu. I'm here to keep snitches and spies away from Dorothea. And I also run this little oh, print, print shop. Do you have a mailbox? Ooh. So Dorothy's real name is not Crane. Like myself and many people in this area. Dorothea is from Occupy Oh, she's from Romania. Oh, foreign. She seems important to the community. More than you can is that imagine. Europe? The West End does not want to hear of Whitechapel's misery. Dorothea is one of the few doing something about it. Valid. Okay. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Are you not worried for her safety? She is as brave as she is tough, and clever, too. If only I had met her when I was younger. Are you in love <laughs> with Camellia, Mr. Petrescu? Don't be stupid. If I had met her when I was younger, we could have won our revolution. That's valid. Okay. Who is she, really? Do you know where she's from? She's not from around here, that's all we know. Camellia is not even her name. It's her favorite flower. You say she has no close Oh, friends. interesting. Well, there's that awful poet who constantly follows her around like a lost puppy. A good man, for sure, but a very poor writer. Well, that's good to know about him. Do you have any family left, Mr. Petrescu? Children or grandchildren? Who knows? I have abandoned my people for so long, they might as well be dead. Fair. As dead as I am for them, I suppose. <laughs> my father left us too. Don't be embarrassed, oh, sir. But you must know my own father disappeared many years ago, and no one forgave him. It's quite awkward to talk about our families like this, but... Thank you, Dr. Reed. I appreciate your pride. This war won't last forever. Yeah, Did seriously. Did you ever think of returning to your country now it's free? No. I have taught strength and determination to my sons and daughters. I'm an old dying man who only has memories of better times to cherish. Valid. Okay. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I know you fought for your country when it was occupied, Darius. Tell me more about it. Why are you I so... Know my days are numbered. I know I Why are you so confrontational about that? Again. Yeah, seriously. Well, that's an important question. Joker and Harley Quinn. 
and I will until my last breath. But Romania escaped the grasp of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's a free country again. It is not the country I fought for. My homeland is not a peace, Doctor. I fight I for still Mother see Russia. A dark yeah. future ahead for my Sorry, da, da. How did you meet Nurse Crane, Darius? Why does she trust you? I'm her oldest friend in England. Dorothea and I share many ideas about We were best friends in college. Got gotcha, you, Croc. Good night. Here, Croc. Even if not directly, I fought against your enemies. Really? Then perhaps you have more in common with Dorothea than meets the eye, Dr. Linton. Awesome. Goodbye, Mr. Petrosi. So, did that take up the rest? Uh, you've got a minute. <laughs> so, okay, let's loot some more. Hey, look, loot. Hey, don't go through my shit. Shoe on shoelace. Do you want me to shoot? I'll show you how we do it in Mother Russia. I have a Russian gun over there. It's locked. I also have Tommy gun. Also, that one too. You're not getting key. Yeah, you're not getting key from me. Did you Stop just steal from my the cash money. register? Oh my god, you were a terrible person. <laughs> just stole What's from What's the other the thing game? you can take back there? Hmm? I swear there was something else. Go in there. Hmm? Keep going. I swear there was something over here to pick up. Hmm. Or maybe it's on the other side. Yo, talk. Oh uh, no, it was the door. Okay, that makes sense. You took my shillings. That was going to feed myself. Okay, that's basically. Okay, that is going to be it for today's episode, so like and subscribe to YouTube and Twitch, comment to your videos, and do read them, follow on Twitch. I'm going to go take a shower. Good night. Good night, everyone.